What's going on, Exiles? Welcome to Good Morning Ray Class, the show where I talk about all the newsy type stuff going on in the world of Path of Exile. My name is HC Monster, and let's get this started with some official grinding gear news. As you can see on screen, we have Content Patch 1.2.4 coming out in the near future. It introduces two new skills into the game, one of which being called Herald of Thunder to match Herald of Ice and Herald of Ash. However, I don't think it's going to be an augment on your weapon, judging by the picture. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just like Herald, or uh, it's going to be just like Storm Herald, the skill that the enemies use to walk around and rain lightning from the sky. So better watch out for that in the near future, and a skill called Lightning Touch. Not a very uh, descriptive name, other than you touch them with lightning. It's probably not going to be the final name of the skill, as they say it is currently being called. If I had to guess, I would assume it's going to be a melee skill, where you attack your enemy and then lightning arcs off of them onto another enemy. But don't hold me to that, because I'm most likely wrong. That is just uh, the very first thing that came to mind when I thought about it. Next, we have two new microtransactions being introduced into the game to match the current Seraf set. We've got the Seraph Sword and the Seraph Shield coming out. Sadly, we do not have pictures to show you of this, but if I had to guess, I would say it's going to match the current Seraph set of gear, so it's going to be very shiny and very luminescent, which is glorious. For all you people that like to play The Sims instead of Path of Exile, you can look forward to some new hideout decorations. And uh, I know that sounds like an insult at first, but seriously, I am super jealous of everybody. My hideout looks terrible, and it seems like everybody else's hideout looks amazing. So kudos to you guys who actually know how to decorate, because I clearly do not. We've also got two new unique items coming out, which we have no information on, so uh, I'm going to take a guess right here, and I think that Grinding Gear Games is just trolling everybody, and they're going to release two new unique fishing poles. That's what my money's on, unique fishing poles, that's, that's what everybody wants. Uh, you're going to be able to catch Beyond Fish, and Coem's Fish, and Lion Eyes Fish, and, uh, and all kinds of fish. That's, that's what I hope. Um, Although on a serious note, I hope that it is either a uh, one-handed hammer or a one-handed axe, because let's be honest, we have uh, the Soul Taker or Mjolnir, um, the other ones are irrelevant. But my money's still on fishing poles. In 1.2.4, you'll be able to set your default loot allocation, and for those that don't know what that means, it is basically when you're playing in a party, it determines, uh, loot allocation determines uh, which items are whose and whether or not other people can pick it up. You will also finally be able to create a new instance within the instance that you're already in, creating instance Inception. No, no, in all seriousness though, this is a really awesome thing. This is something that I've literally wanted since closed beta. It is, it, it would just make things so much easier to be able to create an instance inside of the instance without having to go back to town and making a new instance. So, thank you so much GGG, that is, I'm... I'm so happy. That that literally makes me super happy. That cuts out so much time uh, when grinding for levels. You guys are the best. And last but not least, they have added support for a new race type, which scores the players on how fast they can complete objectives. I don't necessarily know what this means, but not being a, a big racer and all, but I would assume that, uh, let's say you have to do X, like you have to kill a certain boss in like five minutes, and you kill that boss in six minutes, you get less than full points. Like say you were going to get two points, you would instead only get one point, something like that. I don't know. Not entirely sure, but it sounds really interesting. Maybe I will start racing in race season nine and become super good at it. And while we're on the topic, they announced the official date of when the race season nine starts, which is October 25th. So you guys better start practicing now because it's been a really long time since a race season has happened, and I bet everybody is itching to get in there. And finally, the news everyone has been waiting to hear, PvP is finally getting some love. Come December, along with patch 1.3 and the new challenge leagues, there will be a new PvP race season starting. It will have uh, items such as demigods specific to the PvP tournaments and alternate art uniques just like the race season, and oh my god, it sounds amazing. This is literally everything that I hoped that it would be, and I'm so glad that they are not going to disappoint. This sounds literally amazing, and I'm going to start thinking up PvP builds right now. But wait, there's more. Chris Wilson has just confirmed while I was researching, uh, you know, I call it researching, but I really was just browsing the forums. Anyway, Chris Wilson has just confirmed that for patch 1.3, at the same time that uh, all of the PvP stuff is coming out in the new challenge leagues, for patch 1.3, we will all be getting free passive tree respecs which is glorious. I love passive tree respecs because it gives me the option of respecing my build, which I think is great not having to spend all those regret orbs because man, can it get expensive when you're trying to respec a character at level 80. 
Who man, that's a lot of points. Anyway, so if you were thinking about respecking characters, maybe hold off a little bit because come December, we're all getting new trees for free. And I'm not talking about the trees getting reworked. We are just going to get to reallocate our points. Uh, I just want to be clear about that. Uh, we're getting full tr passive tree respects, not a new passive tree. I'm going to go ahead and finish the show with some community awesomeness, the first of which is a mini comic made by Reddit user RT Felix. Rise QT's reaction of uh, successfully vol orbing a level 3 in power to level 4, and another picture as to why people with level 8 masters make me jealous. Links to those and everything else that I've talked about in the video will be in the description below. If you like Path of Exile or the show in general, feel free to hit that subscribe button or that like button or that dislike button if you didn't like it. You know, who am I to judge? Some people don't like some videos, some people do like other videos. Or you can even go in the comment box and leave me suggestions. I do really like suggestions and I read every comment and I reply to a lot of them. So if you want to chit chat or post some helpful comments in there, be feel free to do that. My name is HC Monster. Oh, one more thing before I uh, officially close the show. Um, I just want to thank everybody who has supported me over the past month. You guys are literally the best. I, I just hit 500 subscribers, and oh my god, you guys are great. I just I cannot thank you enough. So, uh, so thank you for all of the support. You guys are great. My name is HC Monster. Have a good rest of the day.